Hi everybody, today I just want to make a little review of uh, the new course that I bought uh, of Asimil. This course is uh, English uh, Business, Business English. Uh, and uh, yeah, as uh, every course that I bought of Asimil, I think uh, it is a great, really a great course. You can find uh, an amazing amount of uh, things, uh, an amazing amount of structures or sentences. Uh, everything in uh, this uh, course about business and uh, uh, specialization and uh, yes a lot of things in fact you will find dialogues documents uh, documents of different type uh, that are related to the business world CVs uh, applicant letter and uh, yeah wage slip uh, almost everything and uh, something like uh, 2000 2500 uh, words and expressions and uh, moreover you'll find also four cities you you will find uh, yeah six cities four for uh, not mp3 but just uh, the tracks and uh, two cities that are uh, the mp3 so yeah, you can decide if you want uh, all uh, already made well. Uh, you can put it uh, on the on your iPhone, and uh, it is uh, all everything uh, with uh, with everything uh, already divided with an MP3 is very 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 useful in practice. Practice, and uh, I decided to use the MP3, but you can decide. And uh, yeah. The course is uh, very, very, it's, it's huge, it's the biggest course of Asimil that I have, in fact, uh, as you can see, it's very thick, and uh, as I said, it's the biggest one that I have for Asimil, and uh, yeah, here, on uh, the left side of the page uh, you, of the book, you can find the description how to use it, uh, as in every book uh, that you can find, uh, here I have the... Italian version of uh, Business English, uh, but I think there is also in French and uh, I don't know in what uh, other languages, but uh, French and uh, English and uh, Italian uh, are okay. And uh, here, here there is the summary at the beginning, uh, introduction, uh, one and yeah, 50, 50, it is uh, divided in 50 parts. As you can see, a lot of pages, a lot of pages, until you arrive uh, up to up to seven hundred eighty-one. Uh, yeah, really, really a lot of pages, really a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, the course is designed for people that are uh, C1, C2 level. Actually, at this moment, I'm not. Uh, I'm uh, near C1 or C2. Or something like that, but anyway, I'm going through the other course of Asimil that is uh, uh, the one of per perfection, English perfection, and so uh, to achieve the C1 level. But uh, anyway, I wanted to to improve my English, and I think that uh, even if uh, I am not at this level uh, or something like that at this very moment, uh, it is very, very useful. There are a lot of words related to business, words not related to business that uh, yeah are really really useful in the world uh, of the English language. Yeah, here you can find a little introduction at the beginning, uh, just uh, some explanations, uh, something related uh, uh, the, of the, about the something uh, explained about uh, how it is uh, in this book the English of the UK and the US USA. And uh, how it is uh, structured, yeah, the book, uh, and uh, here it is. Uh, you start with the first, with the first chapter that uh, I'm going to read uh, for you. So, graduating from university, Kate Hewitt uh, will soon be graduating from university with a BA honors degree in management studies. She is in her flat having dinner with her two flatmates who are also in the final year. Paula is reading modern languages and Dan, who is Chinese, is reading computer studies. Yeah, so this is the little introduction that you will find and then you go on with the real dialogue. Kate, so, Kate, so, how are, thing, how are things going, you two? 
Well, it depends uh, what the things you are talking about, doesn't it? Work, of course. We all know that things are going very well between you and Jack. Mm, well, they were un well, they were until last weekend. Oh, there are more problems. Eh? Well, if you cook them uh, chili con carne as hot as this, I'm not surprised your love life has run into problems. At least it's not as insipid as your Chinese rosé wine. I'm sorry, Paula, I was only joking. I think your chili con carne is great. Sorry, Katie, ask about work. And yeah, here you can find uh, some uh, little explanation about Bachelor's of Arts, uh, Honors degree. Uh, read that in the UK is, uh, is also, his meaning is also stu to study, run into, and yeah, go on with the dialogue. Yeah. When I think that in about two months we'll be taking our finals, the mind boggles. I've been so busy applying for I've been so I've been so busy applying for jobs and attending interviews that I haven't even started revising yet. What about you, Dan? Well, I really have to get a first if I want to do my masters in the U.S. I haven't started revising yet either, but I feel confident about the finals. What about you, Paula? You never cease to amaze me, you two. I haven't thought about the exams yet. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what I'll do when I graduate. There's not much you can do with a degree in modern languages. But when Jack qualifies as a GP, you won't need to work. He'll be raking it in. So, Paula. Oh, hello, Jack. Kate. While we are waiting for Paula to return, Let's clear away the dishes and bring in the dessert. The dessert. The dessert. And here you can find explanation about the finals, the our final examination, my, the mind boggles, and an expression that I, I have never uh, seen before, this dialogue. Uh, and uh, yeah, the first uh, master's uh, GP, that is general practitioner, to rake in, uh, and uh, yeah, go on with the dialogue. And yeah, oh, come on, Dan. We might as well start eating, knowing Paula she'll probably be on the phone for hours. Mmm, this chocolate mousse is absolutely delicious, as always. Thank you! By the way, Kate, what sort of job are you looking for? Probably something in human resources, in human resource management, in a big company. What sort of company? The food industry, definitely. To be quite honest, uh, and I know you'll laugh, my number one choice is United Chocolate. Yeah, and uh, un under this you can find uh, some pictures, some sketches with uh, some uh, parts of the dialogue. Going on, uh, there is the other part of uh, the lesson that consists in documents. Here uh, you can find a job offer and you can read it but uh, without, uh, without the, the recording, but yeah, with explanation in your language. Uh, and uh, going on, there is the third and the last part of the of the lesson that is uh, exercise so you can uh, see that uh, the lesson uh, each single chapter is divided in chapter 1 uh, the number of chapter uh, documents and exercises that are different in every every chapter so you can imagine that in 50 chapters uh, 780 pages you really can find a lot, a lot of stuff to go through. It is amazing, yeah. And here in the exercise, you can find uh, some sentences to be translated and a letter of application. And uh, yeah, there is a little space to, as a notebook, if you want to write down something about the, the, the chapter. But uh, yeah, that's it. As you can, th as you can say, also the first. Chapter isn't so easy. It's quite easy, but uh, there are a lot of things that he, if you want to go in deep with this, with these things, are quite difficult. As for example, uh, the speech about uh, the explanations about uh, I don't know honors degree, the mind boggles, uh, raking it in. Are are some expressions? There are some expressions that aren't easy. Absolutely at all. And so I would like to suggest this course to everybody that uh, 
has a level that is maybe uh, on a B2, C1, C2 and uh, wants to improve uh, his English. Uh, I'm doing that, I'm just uh, going through also the recording, I'm uh, using uh, programs to listen uh, again and again and again over and over and over and over and over. Also the same pieces to understand how is the the wave, you know, to follow the wave of the English language that uh, is a fault that I have uh, and uh, this is my fault because I never paid attention to the really to the pronunciation of the language. So that's it for the review and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, that uh, can be useful for you and uh, see you in the next video. So this is uh, everything about uh, business English. Bye bye.